All right, Felpot. So as I overfly here, Seattle Tacoma in the fly-by-wire Airbus, guys, let me just point out something real fast here, how crisp and HD everything looks. Guys, Ben Maud, um, one of the members on our Microsoft Flight Sim Facebook 2020 VR group, found out something really, really neat. I'm going to share with you guys. And again, listen to me carefully. This is not going to work for everyone. Uh, we're still working on understanding exactly why this is doing this. I believe Microsoft, to a certain extent, is aware of this. It's been brought to their attention in the Facebook, I'm sorry, in the official group. But uh, what I'm getting at here is two things. Increased clarity in VR and smoother gameplay at virtually no cost. And I'm telling you, people with 1080 Ti's, RTX 2080's, AMD, 3090s, it doesn't matter what GPU, uh, people are reporting, hey, I'm seeing the visual clarity, it looks amazing, I'm impressed, and again, I'm going to talk about it here in this video, hopefully, I'm trying to move slow, what you see right now is what I see in virtual reality, so that level of clarity, everything you can read there, I'm telling you, it's amazing, so... All right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna try to make this tutorial really short. My last one, I just spoke way too long. So check this out. We're gonna go over a couple things here real fast. First of all, shout out to Ben. Ben was the one that found this. He's in the Microsoft Flight Sim uh, 2020 virtual reality. It's an unofficial Facebook group that I started with the help of some friends to uh, kind of just, you know, talk about Microsoft Flight Sim, bring some more attention to it. Uh, this is really what the group was about, right? And here it is, uh, Ben's original post that found this out. So he just shared this tip with us and people were a little bit skeptical, rightfully so, because it didn't make sense, as a lot of you guys know. And, you know, I pinned it and that did really well. And people were talking about it more people gave us gave us feedback and you know that was really awesome so i decided to just share some video clips because a byproduct of this is that you will actually have uh your videos recorded uh they were actually going to be clear they're going to be better you know so it's really trippy but it's it's better across all all the fronts now another thing the microsoft flight sim official forum right guys uh check the link below they're going to be here they're talking about it they're aware of it there's uh several forum moderators that already have uh you know they've been made aware of this and they're sharing this internally hopefully microsoft and asobo get linked to this through them i think they will eventually and uh, hopefully we get some answers as to why this is the way it is you know we're calling it sorcery some sort of amazingness we really don't know what it is in fact it doesn't really make sense why this is working we're changing a 2d setting and it's affecting vr so maybe it's some sort of coding but the thing is the frame rate, it's its great. Uh, some people are, are reporting improved performance, which is kind of trippy because it looks better, reduced shimmering, um, almost like a high anti aliasing. And uh, yeah, so if you guys want to follow them there, check it out. I'm going to link both of these things below. Join the Facebook group. Now, let's get into this. It's going to be really fast, really simple. Guys, there's only one setting you really have to change to do this. And it doesn't matter what video card you have, it doesn't matter if it's AMD whether it's um, NVIDIA, whether it's a 1080, 1660, 3090, 3080, 2070, AMD, 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 because I don't know those GPUs. It's really just one thing that, that you have to change. Oh, also, I don't think the headset matters. Uh, Quest 2 works for my dad. Quest 2 reported, uh, I think, for Ben and other people. I use the Reverb G2. Other people are reporting different headsets. So uh, different builds, it doesn't really matter what you're using. Now, let me say this last thing. Not everyone is going to see this. Why? I don't know. We haven't figured that out. It's not a placebo effect. This is not something that, oh, OK, so you are you want it to be there and it's there. Uh, it's it's crystal clear. It's, it's just a level of clarity that uh, if it works, it's amazing. And if it doesn't, you're kind of bummed out wondering why don't I get to see it because everyone else is. So let me show you real fast and we'll keep talking. Under options, you're going to go to general. And again, we're changing a PC setting right here, guys. You see this PC. We're not changing the VR or anything in VR. You're going to scroll down right here. Check it out. Render scale 200. That's it. Apply and save and then go and run the game. Now, if you don't see the results, what I would recommend is make sure that that has saved correctly. Exit the game completely. Uh, close VR, whatever you're using, and then come back into the game again. Uh, double check that it's still there. You might notice a bit of lag. 
um, a bit of stuttering because again, you see the resolution that it's rendering at, it's gonna be high. Um, and actually it says this, even though it says full screen, don't be confused by why you see here guys, sorry about that. Um, let me just explain this. 100 for me, that's 4K resolution. That monitor is 4K. It's kind of doing something a little funny here because this monitor is not 4K. But I do have a 4K monitor over there. That's why it says this. So um, whatever it is, bump it up to 200. Exit the game. Come back in. Double check that it's there and try to run it again. I'm kind of curious if that's going to help those who don't see it. Now, in the comments below uh, or in the forums, the official Microsoft forums or the Facebook group, please leave whether or not it works and uh, what any information you can give us. Uh, what headset your specs on your computer just some basic info and again i'm kind of trying to tally up a little list here on the side here of what is it that's working and what's not um hopefully through the official forms we're gonna get some answers because i trust that they're looking at this this is catching some traction uh, you know some of the form moderators were again skeptical that this was going to make the sim run um, and look as good as people are saying it really does it has an amazing effect it looks good so again that's all you have to do guys save that and jump in uh, in VR what you're gonna find is just an increased clarity uh, reduced uh, shimmering all the objects are gonna be very smooth along the edges and it's it's honestly what I've been waiting for and what I've expected out of my RTX 3090 with my reverb G2 and I think a lot of people are honestly blown away by it because it's it's something we haven't seen before it's like it's like a whole new sim you know uh it, it's just clear you know that's the only way i could say it's almost like if the whole time i've been in vr with like the little lens you know plastic on and i just took it off i'm like okay now i could see and it's really nice and i could read everything so uh we'll end this here hopefully i covered everything if you have any questions any comments leave them below join the facebook group join the official forums and uh yeah join the join whatever you can join just just ask if not just leave some comments below hopefully you know it helps out uh for other members that are looking into this but again uh i will definitely be back with some more information an update on this later on uh, i know my content has been a little slow lately i've been swamped uh, at work it's really tough to try to uh uh, push out all these videos uh, even though i've done a little bit less lately but anyways if you have any questions leave them below guys take it easy be well and uh, enjoy it i really hope it works for most of you guys because this is just it's bananas it is just next level clarity at no fps costs and it almost doesn't matter what your setup is if you're running vr in any capacity you should see some sort of improvement hopefully and if not Hopefully we'll figure out why it is because I don't think we even know why it's working. So just want to share that with you guys for now. A little cool secret. Hopefully it works. Take these guys and uh, we'll end with my landing here. Be well. This is just honestly next level clarity. And the only way that I could describe it, this is exactly what I wanted from the sim when I had my Reverb G2 with my RTX 3090. This is the level of gameplay that I wanted it. It's almost as good as having a 2D monitor without exaggerating. I mean, this is just phenomenal. Wow, guys, so again, 
this is just amazing and you know what i'm testing in the airbus in a in a big city just because this to me is some of the hardest hidden areas but everything else should run really smooth for me so hope it works out for you guys hope you guys uh you know if you do experience gains from it please leave it in the comments below uh let us also know what your setups are and if it does not work for you please you know leave some feedback on the forums follow the forums follow the facebook group stay tuned and uh, sorry for that digging we're gonna end the video here guys take it easy be well